We have traditionally really enjoyed games like Animal Crossing, even Harvest Moon, and although it's a completely different genre, we of course love the Final Fantasy games and series. Well, if you don't already know, Harvest Stella is a new upcoming life sim RPG game. Perhaps you could somewhat compare it to Rune Factory, as it sort of mixes together everything from all of these games into one. What's even better though is that it's coming out on Nintendo Switch as well as PC, so this is definitely something that we want to check out as soon as we can. So in this one, we're going to get you guys up to speed on what this new game is and why we think it actually looks pretty cool. And if you do enjoy these kind of videos, you can show support by clicking like down below and subscribing and clicking the bell because we have so much content planned each day that you don't want to miss out on. We would love to know what games you guys are playing at the moment and finding to be the most fun. So tell us what you've been up to when it comes to gaming in the comments down below. First things first though, here's a quick overview of the game before we get into any specifics. The game is visually set in a sort of Final Fantasy-esque medieval countryside village that is overlooked by this distant giant crystal, and these are what govern the seasons within the actual game. This is important because the season of death has arrived, which visits at the changing of each season. When this happens, there's dust outside, plants wither and die, people can't even walk outside due to the dust of death that fills the air. Each year, the quietus, which I think is how you pronounce it, persists for longer and longer. This is where we as a player come in, where we'll have to lead a fully self-sustaining life with our very own vibrant house, and we'll need to make and cooperate with allies to overcome various threats. The overarching theme is that as we progress, we're going to draw ever closer to the truth behind the disasters and the world's very creation. There will be farming and life sim elements like growing fruit, veg, and crops to sell or use as crafting materials, as well as raising a variety of animals. Some things you can craft include food that can even grant combat boosting effects. There are different towns, villages, and a holy capital to explore, but the paths are treacherous, so finding allies to cooperate operate is definitely helpful. Unlike your usual life sim game, Harvestella has a fantastic looking visual combat system, including some classic Final Fantasy jobs where you can switch between being a fighter adept with swift sword techniques, the Shadow Walker which deals critical wounds with twin blades, or the Mage which specialises in magic attacks. For me this is where I get most excited, setting up your crops and farms, and then going dungeon diving and exploring with this combat system. And then if you didn't know, there's actually a Switch demo out for the game that lets you you guys play the first hour or so to get an experience of it for yourself before you commit to buying it. I love when games release demos as it's a great way to try things out risk-free so that you know for yourself if you will really enjoy it or not. Personally speaking, the sound effects within the game, the music, and the overall vibrancy of the area really did create a nice environment to chill out in. It did feel quite nice when it came to immersing yourself into the world. Some fantastic news as well is that Square Enix, the developers for the game, have been following players' experience with the demo and have listened to community feedback and have already included several balanced tweaks. Many of the tweaks are things that improve the player experience like reducing the load times, lowering cooldown time for job switches, improving the mage job, as well as adding a warning effect when your health is low. Overall, these kind of changes, especially on a pre-release game, is great to see as it shows they're watching and supporting the game as well as the player experience through these updates. I think this will be extremely important and possibly make or break the game going forwards. You see, this is their first try at a game in this genre, so balancing various aspects of the game from the combat to the farming to the all-important time management aspect within the game will determine if the game feels good or bad as a player. You see, every action within the game essentially passes time. So if you choose to go fishing, to water your crops, to go to the shops, or to go explore somewhere, this will progress the day forward. So your in-game time is very valuable, and you have to make the right decisions when choosing to do something or something else. And at the end of the day, you're going to have to head home so that you can get to sleep on time. So I really hope Square Enix will keep the pace up with these updates and tweaks going forwards as more people play the game, especially after release, and they can fine tune it so it makes for the best player experience possible. The game is of course releasing on Switch, but if you're thinking about PC, we actually now have the minimum and recommended specs, which in my opinion don't look too demanding. The minimum will give you 1280 by 720 at 30 FPS, 
FPS, while the recommended will give you 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS, which I would say is definitely what you want to aim for. Essentially having an i5 and a RX 470 or GeForce GTX 1060 will be your target CPU and GPU to hit those recommended specs, and it's only a modest 20 gigabytes hard drive space to install. The game will be releasing on November 4th, 2022, so really it's not too long to wait if you're excited for this one. Essentially, as a big Final Fantasy fan, as well as a big fan of games like Animal Crossing, mixing these things together could be a recipe for a really fun and chill game to play every now and then in your evenings, or to fully immerse yourself in and complete. So I was very hopeful going into the demo, and I do have to say, although there was a lot of talking and text, and a surprising lack of VO, which I find interesting in a Square Enix game, everything outside of that when it comes to the music, the environments, tending to your crops, and even the combat, which of course is only at a very basic level at the beginning of the game, which I hope gets fleshed out a lot more as you progress, was pretty good from what I played. So if you guys want to try it for yourself, you can always try the demo out, but when the game does release, I'm sure there'll be more to talk about and show off if you guys would like to see it. So definitely do stay subscribed if you would like to see more on this, and do click like to show support for the video because it really does help us out. The two videos on screen as well we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. You don't have to check it out, but if you did find this video interesting, these ones will probably be up your street too. And make sure to tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.